Hey everybody, it's John again. Um, if you watch the channel for a while now, you'll notice that every time, or every now and then, I uh, like to do some food videos. So uh, today I'm going to do a video of uh, my favorite salmon recipe. And it's really easy. And if you hear uh, some noises in the background, uh, that's Jackie. She's uh, loves salmon. It's one of her favorite dishes. So before I start anything, I'm going to cut her off a piece, and I'm going to cook separately. So, that, that, that there will be her piece. She's got to wait, though, and it's going to drive her nuts. Um, what you need for this is pretty easy. Just some minced garlic, um, Worcestershire sauce, uh, red wine, salt, pepper. I like to use Obey, little seasoning salt, garlic salt, and this uh, ghost pepper salt. You may or may not be able to get this. Depends on uh, what you have locally available, but that isn't necessary, but I just like to add that in for a little bit of extra flavor. And I like to get my fish from uh, local markets more than um, like shopping centers because it has a lot less fishy taste, which salmon's one of the few fishes that I like to eat. So, uh, usually I just start by cutting it into smaller portions. This is about a pound and a half, which is usually what I uh, eat while I'm at work. So, I usually cut them about maybe two and a half inches across. Pretty easy. Then I just season them a little bit. Um, start with a little bit of pepper. <laughs> yes, I know, bunny. Uh, I like the Himalayan sea salt. Of course, you can always add or take away whatever you want. A little bit of uh, seasoning salt. A little bit of garlic salt. And then a little bit of Old Bay. And that's really about it for the fish. I'll scoot that over a little bit. So then take a bowl. And start with the garlic. And pretty generous amount. Depends on how much garlic you like. I mean, you like a lot. Preferences. I like the uh, sweet red wine. Just adds a really good flavor uh, while you're cooking the fish. And whether or not you like Worcestershire sauce is your preference, but I really like the flavor that it adds. And then last but not least, the ghost pepper salt. Again, I like this because it adds a little bit of a bite to the fish. Not really heat, but it, just a bit of a bite. And eventually, you have to play with it to see how much of it you like or not. And just kind of let that dissolve. And mix it all up a little bit. And you can let that marinade kind of while you're getting ready to get your pan set up. So we'll move on to step two. All right, on to the second step here. As you can see, I got a little pan right here with the piece I'm going to cook up for Jackie. It doesn't need to cook a whole lot, but it's not good to give cats raw fish. So that's going to be on the side here. And then uh, in the larger skillet here. We'll add a little bit of oil. And 
and probably put that over medium high heat for now. Do it around a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna let that heat up, even though it kind of looks like a dinosaur head there for a second. And I usually get the pan kind of hot when I put the uh, fish in at first because I kind of I like the top to be crispy and kind of browned. And I do tend to leave the skins on. I'm going to put the uh, piece for the kitty here until after it's done because uh, there's that layer between the skin and the salmon that you eat that has the uh, the fatty texture to it and that's where you get a lot of your flavor from so if you remove the skin before you cook it you don't get all of the fatty flavor from the salmon which is what really gives most of it its taste and then we just put them in here one at a time I usually go face down to start Usually a pound and a half fits in the one in one skillet. That piece didn't cut all the way through. It comes. All of it fits in pretty good. And then I take a little bit of that red wine Worcestershire garlic mixture and just take a little bit for now and just kind of run it across each piece. Just so we start getting some of the flavor into the mix. And then I cover it. And once it covers, you can start to see the alcohol burning off. And that'll give it, uh, the aroma will stay with the fish if we cover it, so that's why I usually do that. And usually let it sit for about five minutes, and, uh, and then flip it over. So I'm just going to let it cook for a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, and uh, right off the bat, Jackie's little piece is cooked up and ready to go. So I'm just going to let that cool for her until it's time to eat. Um, she has a hard time waiting, so she might come complain. I don't know. We'll see. And let's see what this looks like. So hopefully there's a good browning to the top when I flip it over. Oh yeah, see? Nice and crispy and brown. Now the salmon might start falling apart now, which is just fine. Oh yeah, they all look pretty crispy indeed. And then when you got it sitting there, is a good time to add a little bit more of the red wine. This time, I use a little bit more of the garlic in there. And you really let it cook for about another five minutes. And uh, usually it's done about then. It can take a little bit more. Sometimes I flip it over maybe one more time just to get a little bit more crispiness on there. You can turn the heat down a little bit. And uh, I'm probably going to put the cover back on and um, let the aroma fill the fish up some more. And we'll check back in a couple minutes. 
Alright, it's been about five more minutes now, so let's take a look and see what we got going on. I'm going to check to see if it's getting close to being done. Well, the fish is going to start falling apart, which it is. And you can take a look in the inside and see if it looks cooked all the way through. It's pink. If it's not pink, it's usually pretty good. And then I might say so they're just going to come apart now, so I might try to flip it one more time. It may not be possible because it's about done. Maybe I can flip one of the other ones. Let's see. Yeah. So when it starts falling off the skin like that, it's pretty much finished. So I'm just going to take the rest of my uh, red wine and Worcestershire sauce that I got here. Pour it in there for a couple more seconds. Get these pieces in there. And the fun part is trying to get it all out. It does like to fall apart. I mean, there's multiple ways you can. You can bake your fish or whatever you like to do with it. This is just how I like to cook it. I'm going to start taking these pieces out. And uh, after I do, I do peel the skin off. Especially if I have any leftovers. You can take the skin off. You put it in the container. Oh, there's a good whole piece right there. You don't you, you, you lack picking up that weird fishy flavor. Most of it comes from the skin. This is just a mess right there. Scoop. Cool. Good. Get the rest of the pieces out of here. And it usually has, has really, really good flavor for as simple as it is. Alright, that's the end of that. So let me get these, take the skin off of these, and we'll take a better look at them in just a second. So that turns out pretty easy. Now I'm not like a master cook in the kitchen. The skin just peels right off after it's been cooked but I wanted to start eating healthier and one of the things I wanted to start getting myself to eat is more fish I'm not a really big fan of fish so I had to come up with uh, ways that I felt would make it taste a lot better so it's usually these bits right here that have that nice kind of red wine glaze to it that have a lot of flavor to them the little bits of garlic so um, if you enjoyed this at all, let me know. Maybe I'll do a few other videos like this. Again, pretty soon we'll be getting some more of the um, Universal Yums boxes to try, so me and Patty will get back to doing that. Um, it's just been pretty busy planning our wedding, so but just been a little bit tighter. So I still wanted to do a couple of these food videos, so, um, so go ahead and hit that like button. It's Coven Kitten if you enjoyed this at all. And uh, subscribe for more videos and um, I'll get back to uploading action figure stuff again soon. And I have a few other ideas that I want to try out. I kind of wanted to do uh, a few videos on some nightmares that I had. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. And again, thanks for watching.
Uh-huh.